So Shortcut is a free and open source cross-platform video editing application for Linux, Mac OS and your Windows operating system. So let's see how we can install Shortcut Video Editor on our Windows operating system. So first of all, just open your favorite browser and search for Shortcut Video Editor and the first link which will appear here will be from shortcut.org. So just click on this link and straight away when this uh, website opens, you will be able to see this downloads section here. So I'm going to just click on this downloads section and once you scroll down in this downloads uh, web page, you will be able to see uh, the installer for Windows. As you can see, uh, you can download the 64-bit Windows installer or you can download 32-bit Windows installer. And you can uh, download it from the GitHub or you can download it from the FOSS Hub. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, download the 64-bit Windows installer from the GitHub uh, source. So just click on this option which says 64-bit Windows installer under GitHub which is site 2. So I'm going to just click on this and as soon as you click on this option the download of this exe file will start. Now once this executable file is downloaded just click on this executable file and then click on yes and I'm going to just minimize this and this is the installation wizard. So here on the first window, you just need to agree with this license terms and conditions. And if you agree with those license terms and conditions, just click on I, I agree. And then on the next window, this will be the location where your shortcut video editor will be installed. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default. Also, as you can see, the space required is 323 megabyte and also you are going to see the space available on your Windows operating system. So just click on next on this point. Now, if you want to create the desktop shortcut, you can uh, click on this checkbox. Also, if you want to remove shortcut settings from the registry, you can check on this checkbox. But I will leave uh, this checkbox as unchecked. And I will uh, select this checkbox which says create desktop shortcut icon and then I'm going to just click on install which is going to start the installation of this shortcut video editor. So just wait for the installation to complete. So now as you can see I can see completed here and shortcut uh, video editor icon is there on my desktop. So I'm going to just click on close now and I can just click on this icon which says shortcut which is created after the installation and now you can see shortcut video editor is loading. So when shortcut video editor opens you will be able to see this kind of interface here. So now let's say I want to just open a video file inside this shortcut video editor. You can click on this open file option here. Also, you can uh, just click on file and then click on open file. So I'm going to just click on open file option. And now I will just navigate to uh, the location where my video file is there. So you can see I have the sample.mp4 file. So I'm going to just click on this file and click on open, which is going to just uh, import this file inside this uh, video editor. So when in this uh, video opens on your shortcut video editor, you will be able to see uh, the preview of your video. Also, you can see the audio uh, level changing when it plays on this video editor. So now if you want to uh, add this video to the timeline, you just need to select the video and then click on this plus uh, sign here, which is going to just add your video into this timeline. So here you can see your video uh, with the audio levels also. And once your video is added to the timeline, you can play your videos from here. And if you want to uh, do any editing, you can uh, do it by just right clicking on the clip where you want to, let's say I want to just split the playhead. So I can just click on split at playhead 
which is going to split these two clips into two uh, uh, parts. So, let us say I just want to remove this small part. So, I can uh, just split it from the end once again and I can just uh, select this and I can uh, just remove this uh, part from here. So, I can just right click and then click on remove which is going to remove that part from my uh, video. Also, you will be able to see those icons which will uh, uh, exactly reflect uh, those options which you can see here. So, let us say I want to just split once again. So, I can use this uh, split option and this is going to split this video and then I have uh, this toggle snapping option. I have uh, the scrub while dragging option and then I have ripple trim drop. So, so many options uh, which are available here. I have the cut and paste option also. So, I can just uh, select a clip and then cut or copy and paste it to the different position. Now, let us say you are working with uh, multiple uh, videos. You can add those video to the timeline by just right clicking and then you can add a video track from here or you can uh, add the audio track here. So, let us say I want to add an audio track, then it is going to add the audio track uh, into my timeline also. So, when I scroll down here, I can see this audio uh, uh, track is added and now I can import or open the audio file and add it to this timeline. You also can see the undo and redo option at the top and then other properties you can change it from here. So, export and history keyframes. So, there are so many options which are available here. Now, let us say you just want to uh, save your project. So, you are in the middle of uh, your editing and you want to save your project and you want to work on it on the next day let us say. So, you can just click on this file option and then click on save or save as which is going to save your uh, project and uh, shortcut saves the project in the .mlt format. And by default, uh, the document uh, folder is selected. So, let us say I want to save it in the video folder. So, I will just select it here, here and I will just name uh, my uh, uh, project. Let us say hello. Uh, I just name it as hello and then save it, which is going to save my project hello.mlt uh, to my desired uh, location. So, I have saved this as the hello.mlt file you can see here. Now, let us say you are finished with your editing and you want to export your file into uh, different formats. You can uh, once again click on file option and then click on export video which is going to show you all these options. So, now let us say you just want to render your video in the best possible uh, setting. What I use generally here is high profile setting. So, I am going to use that. So, just choose H264 high profile from here and then click on advanced settings here. So, just click on this advanced button and from here you can choose your resolution. So, right now the default resolution is 1280 uh, by 720 which is ok for me. But if you want to increase it, you can uh, just increase it to uh, let us say 1080p uh, also. So, you can change the resolution to for example, 1920 by 1080 for the 1080p resolution. You can also choose the format. The default format uh, by default here is MP4, but you can choose any other format. I generally choose the MP4 format, which is okay for me. And once you are happy with uh, the settings, you can just click on export file and then uh, give the name of your file. By default, it will be the name of your project, which is hello in my case, and then the extension. Uh, you have chosen. So, I have chosen MP4. So, it will uh, give the MP4 extension here and when you click on save, it is going to uh, start the process of uh, exporting and you will be able to see uh, the process here. So, the percentage of export which is completed. So, once this uh, export reaches to the 100 percent mark, your video will be exported 
into uh, the finished product. So once this is complete, you can go to the location which you have chosen. Right now you can see this file is created, but uh, just wait for the, this process to complete to reach to the 100% mark and then only your full video will be completed. So this is how you can download and install shortcut video editor on your Windows 10 operating system.